Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Modded Fallout 4 Let's Play. Of course, I am Kira Pones, and today we're actually going to continue on with the main story. Uh, if you recall, last time we uh, we actually became part of the uh, railroad. So today we're actually going to continue on with the main story, see if we can uh, keep going on through there, so that way we can actually keep going with the railroad story as well. So right now... Oh, well, right now we're going to take on this uh, super mutant. Ooh. Probably didn't need a critical there, actually. It looked like she was actually going to kill him anyway. But anyways, right now we are heading to Good Neighbor to visit Dr. Amari. She's supposed to help us find um, what's going on with... Oh, there's Good Neighbor. To find out what's going on with uh, Kellogg, because we have that piece of his head. Are those enemies? That's a frag mine. Those are enemies. Let's see. Let's pull out the M4. If, as you guys can see right here, 824. I built a ton of ammo for this thing. Oh, jeez. I missed. I missed. There we go. Got him. What is this place? Mass Fusion Building? Let's uh, let's actually let's take a stop in here before we go to Good Neighbor. Ooh, there are gunners galore in here. Got him. Oh snap! I didn't see that guy. I've really buffed the M4 as well, even more than what it was at. I think it does like 114 damage now, just because all the perks and stuff I have going with it as well. What do you have on you? Bottle cap, fusion cell, stim pack. What a bunch of junk. Hey. This isn't junk. Okay, this is this is my lifestyle. Every time I see these, I think they're not dis What was that? What was that? What was that? Who heard me? You did. Oh, snap. Is that a turret? What is a turret? Oh, that's a person. That's a person. Let's see. Yeah, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, now that person's like, what the hell? Let's get you two. Ooh, 37. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh sh I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. Oh, my God. Thankfully, it didn't hit me. Pack of duct tape? Fuck yeah. I know it is. It smells really bad, Piper. I understand. Jesus. Thank god she missed all those freaking rounds. I'm like super scared to just start stepping out everywhere. I don't want to get killed. What was that? that legendary? Oh, that's legendary. Oh, snap. That's legendary. You missed both of those? Lucky leather left arm. Too bad I don't use those. Oh! <gasps> Sturm Giver. Yeah. Well, guys, we actually just got the Sturm Giver. Giver? Giver? Sturm Giver? Volk Sturm Giver. I can't talk. Comes with its own ammo. Nice. This thing looks sweet. I'm gonna try this thing out. And just so everyone knows, we are playing on actual. We're playing on very hard. Oh. Oh, hello. That guy has power armor. That is not good. But yeah, we are playing on very hard. Um. Oh, there's a bobblehead right there. There's also a gunner captain in here. Where is he? Who's there? Oh, we can shoot the fusion core? Yeah. Fuck. Piper, what are you doing? Piper! Oh, what was that? Oh my god. I don't even know what that was. Oh no, Piper, get up. Get up, Piper. I have no idea what exploded, but I'm getting rads like crazy now. Well, cool, I believe we, uh, I believe we got this place all cleared out. Just gonna grab this bobblehead and then we'll, uh, continue on to Good Neighbor. Does this elevator go down? Sweet. Does go down. No! What the fuck, Piper? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you being so dumb? Let me freaking stab you again. God, come on. Freaking trying to commit suicide? Am I really that bad? Oh yeah, let's go into Good Neighbor. Hey, hold 
hold up there. First time in good neighbor, you can't go walking around without insurance. Without insurance, huh? Um, let's just be aggressive. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Okay, dude. Someone oh. steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. You said let her go. You saw Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, you'll be a new man. Ooh. Hey, this is me we're talking about. It's threatening. Let me tell you something. Oh, oh, jeez. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Oh, damn. My heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handle back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Sarcastic. You always gotta go with a sarcastic approach. Of the people, for the people. Go on a little further. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Alright, Hancock, you got it. I'm just gonna loot this guy. Hey, memory, that's where we need to go. I'll stop by the bar first. Get a little drink before I start going through some memories that might hurt my feelings. Hello. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Awesome. Thanks, man. Right. Another one of your mercs looking for McCready? He's McCready. in the back room. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your blood out to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost God damn it, Piper. Don't tell We're having a discussion. Rusty. Should we take this outside? Yeah. Tell me we don't have to listen to this Piper, shit. Piper, get out of their conversation. The only reason we Jeez. haven't spilled your body. Lady, if you're preaching about the Adam or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. You need a hired gun. Then maybe we can talk. I'm interested. I'm interested. I'll tell you what. The price is 250 caps. Up front, there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Will you take less? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You have a hard bargain. If I ever go back to Red Rocket, me and McCready got this shit going on now. What do you want? What are you sitting on? What are you sitting on? <sighs> this guy's a magician. I'm glad he's on my team. Okay, me and McCready are now going to go talk to... uh. What was that girl's name? Dr. Amari, there we go. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten me about the mayor. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Suave guy. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're in the railroad. What's this all about? Oh, how did she know I'm in the railroad? Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. Jeez. <laughs> I wouldn't have put it quite that way, <laughs> but it's true. We right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Which room am I sitting in? On the other this one? Alright, here we go. Here we go. This TV has very bad quality. <laughs> McCready, why are you staring at me all creepy like? How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to... Whoa. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive oh, have a mouth. of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. That's a problem for you. I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what 
I hear you could afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. We may have something to talk about after all. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Hmm. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. We need to find Virgil. Then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea. Reason. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. What the fuck? I killed you when you were on ice. It's Kellogg. Kellogg. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You um, you feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Well, we actually haven't done any fighting with McCready. We need to do something to to fight. We also need to go and find some good radiation gear. You know, we're we're gonna get to know McCready. We're gonna take him out on a, a, a little trip. Would you quit walking, Jeez Louise? We're gonna head over to. Oops, country crossing. We'll take him with us. See if we can secure this settlement. What was that? Oh shit, Rust Devils. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Ooh. Oh, that's a legendary? Oh, I didn't even... Oh my goodness. Yes. Get down. Oh my god, there's so much stuff exploding right now. God, there's still stuff blowing up. Oh my god. So much stuff blowing up. Alright, well, he handled himself okay. County? Oh, it's County Crossing. I thought it was Country Crossing. The feral ghouls have holed up nearby, and some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. I'm on it. As good as done. I'll be glad to have him gone. Well, I feel like this is gonna suck. Oh shit! Oh my god, my health. Oh my health is so low. Okay, so there's some feral ghouls in here. McCready. Just gotta clear them out, and then we're good. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh! I hear ghouls. Everywhere. Freaking ghouls everywhere. It's like a zombie apocalypse. Oh. Oh. Stay down. Man, I can't even hit that guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. So, speaking of zombies, one time I had a dream. Oh. I had a dream that I was getting eaten alive by zombies, and I literally woke up out of a dead sleep, sweating, and like. Puffing and puffing because I was getting eaten alive by a zombie. It was like one of the scariest dreams I've ever had of all time, and I remember it so well. Well, let's get out of here. We're here to tell you that we saved the day. You did? That's great news. Lady, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude and our support. All right, well, everyone, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the episode here. Ada, oh my god, shut up up please i'm trying to do the outro right now anyways um now yeah, we're going to cut the uh the episode here oh my god every time i start to talk ada stop 
Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna end the episode here. If Ada talks, I'm just completely going to ignore her. Oh my god, I'm gonna ignore her. I'm ignoring her. Okay, anyways, we're gonna cut the e episode here. Um, we went and uh, went through Doctor Amari, talked about all the the. Oh my god, I can't think when you're talking to me. We went and talked to Doctor Amari, went through Kellogg stuff, figuring out how to get into the uh, actual institute. Oh my god, you don't ever stop talking. And we also got McCready as a partner now. So anyways, so uh, anyways guys, as always, have a good one. Bye-bye.